Hello everyone, uh, Game Dog here, and welcome to The Floor is Jelly. Um, this is another game that's always kind of interested me, like the concept of it, and I noticed that I actually already own it through one of the various bundles I've bought throughout the year, so let's go ahead and finally try it out. This is a platformer where um, everything jiggles, basically. Am I missing something here? Oh! Okay. <laughs> All right, I like this already. <laughs> and I am a little like ninja, frog, whatever this thing is supposed to be. <laughs> so yeah, this is the game right here. It's a bit like a platformer, but like everything jiggles when you step on it. I, I like the art style of this game quite a bit. Oh, I see what you're doing. There we go. So you have little mechanics like that. Oh! Oh, you can wall jump too. Ah. Oh. oh, okay, good. And you, you come right back after you die. You know, I mentioned this when I played uh, Piku Nico a little while back, but I like control schemes where, like, it's very tight, but at the same time still feels a little clumsy. <laughs> This real oh ah, this really gives me vibes of that honestly, because <laughs> you can die really easily, but at the same time, like it never feels like it's my it's the game's fault. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> now it's the exact opposite. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think I get it. Oh. Dang, they get a lot out of this gimmick. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. Or maybe... Oh, whoops. Maybe I can get a running jump, sort of? Oh, I can go backwards? Oh, that's new, an elevator. Oh, 
Oh, there's multiple ways I can go. So while the first world was like more like, you know, straightforward, this one is like more puzzle based. Do I need to put three things in there? Let's go this way first. That's down here. Another elevator. Oh! Okay, those bounce you. I like the sound they make. Oh, that's interesting. meant to get there. Um, what happens if I hit this again? Okay, it can be flipped more. That looks more possible. I want to see where the door was before I flipped the gravity. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Although maybe maybe that'll still work out. Oh, come on! There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I feel like I have to have, yeah, I have to make it face that way. This feels like a game that would have a lot of secrets in it. Ah, type platforming, my one weakness. Although, you get a lot of air momentum. Yeah, there we go, you can just do that. I wonder if Super Meat Boy was an inspiration for this. Cause I don't know, the like quick level to level, like come back the instant you die kind of thing kind of reminds me of that. Like playing as a tiny character of extremely tight controls. I actually have not played Super Meat Boy, but that is on my list of stuff I want to try at some point. Oh, those slip with the gravity, okay. Also, I could have sworn I saw something down here. Oh! A house? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, what? Help look 
inventory, www, set, credits, and exit. The universe is before you, too vast to fully see. Your focus at, pre um, at present is taken by a description of yourself reading a description of yourself reading. You imagine yourself reading it. You briefly wonder how in the, in, in the self you imagine almost imagines you. You have one computer, one infinitely small point between the past and future which you assume will, be, will, uh, will abandon for another. That does not help me. Terminals active. 30 remain. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's all the credits. Oh my god, a lot of people worked on this. Or actually, no, those are... Oh yeah, those are those are special thanks in play testings. Well, they they worked on it too, you know, in a way. <laughs> so I guess I have to find thirty sets, whatever those are, and then come back here. I could probably just die. Oh no, I didn't need to. I don't even know what a set is. That's a little worrying. I think there was a little more down here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, what do I have to hit on this? Oh, the portal part of it, okay. Ah, oh, that didn't work. I did not mean to fly that high. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. It seems that those warp points are checkpoints, though, which is kind of nice. Hmm. How can I activate that in such a way that I don't die instantly? Maybe I need to go back up? Oh, yeah, there's another one of those up there, so I guess so. Uh-oh. Okay, so I need the gravity to be facing... Not that way, but maybe that'll help me.
Oh, jeez. Another door area. I'm just gonna drink water real quick. Hold on. Oh, we're back here again. Ah, so this is a hub world. I get it. So I guess I need to find two more of those, and then uh, and then that door will open. me of actually this is a deep cut because like i i'm not even sure if the developer remembers this game but like i remember greg labanov made a game sometime between playing coin crypt and um or sometime between making coin crypt and wander song it was called like super goo goo and it had like a very goofy art style like this <laughs> like an actual selling point is that he made like all the sound effects of his mouth <laughs> it was a very funny game I don't think I let's played it very well, but I don't know. It's fun to go back to. I actually have not played it in a while, so. Okay, so I got two places we can go here. Ooh. Um. Well, that thing's following me now. Oh, it's following me here. Okay, so we probably have to get one on this side, too. Oh, this looks tough. Um, ew, what am I meant to do here? Uh, maybe sneak outside? No, that doesn't look possible. Um... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I like how stuff is growing behind me as I run. <laughs> it's a really cool looking area. What's down here? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, that was too easy. There's probably one of- yeah, I was gonna say, there's probably one of these in here I have to get. Can I just, like, jump over this, or... sneak through here? Oh yeah, I totally can. I- whatever the 
these things are. I'm collecting a lot of them. <laughs> I like how they all, like, burst out when, like, you respawn. Okay, so that's a door I can go through up there. Let's go through this one first, though, because I... I don't know. <laughs> oh, I get the gimmick of this. I have to wait for, like, the wall to come down before jumping again. Yeah, because... Because, like, this mechanic where I, like, do a super jump, that also is something you can do when jumping sideways, but you don't want to do it here, obviously. Ah. It's a little harder to min-max than, uh, jumping vertically, though. Oh! Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> And then it gets stuff like that. Gotcha. Come on. There we go. This is also one of those platformers where, like, oop, just tapping the button sends you the same, like, height upwards as a full jump. Oh, no it doesn't. Or does it? It's kind of hard to tell, and honestly, if it, if it doesn't do that, I can kind of see that being a design choice because this dev probably wants you to focus way more on, like, playing with the physics of the jelly, of the gel floors, than actually, like, you know, doing what you typically do in a platformer. This this game, like, is really creative of how it uses these mechanics. I'm going in a big circle, though. If these, like, weird, like, worm things are starting to get a little distracting, too, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get back to a... Oh, there was a oh, there was a door through here that I didn't explore fully. It was up there. All right. Um. Ah, come on. Nothing over there. Well, let's hope this is all of them. I think it was. Alright. Now what? Oh, that was it. Okay. That's two of those done now. Star going this way, but I kind of turned back. Uh, uh, uh okay. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Wait, water physics on top of this? Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> 
Oh, I get it. Oh, it's reverse gravity. Disguised as like underwater physics. That's really funny, actually. Which means I can probably... Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> I can wall jump upside down. I probably have to do this. There we go. Oh, look at the fish, too. God, this game is a, such a pretty art style. Oops, uh oh. This is the second time I did that. <laughs> It looks like you keep your, like, momentum after, um... Probably have to... There's the door. Wait, where's the exit? Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. Oh, I gotta do that whole thing over again. <laughs> um, okay, that looked a little weird. Oh, come on. I think I know what the, I think I know what the game wants me to do here. It's gonna be pretty epic. <laughs> oh no, that was just the end. I wanna try I just wanna try this. It feels a little suspicious to me that the game allows me to do this. Anything up here? No. Huh. I thought maybe that might be what, like, maybe there are, like, 30 secrets hidden in the world, and those are what those sets are, and maybe that's one of them? Unless there's something up there. I'll just try again. I'm falling anyway. Oh. <laughs> hmm. That is mighty suspicious indeed. Oh, more doors. Ooh. 
Wait. What? Is this a gameplay mechanic, or does it just look fancy like that? It seems like it only, like, becomes solid when I touch it, which practically means that, like, this mechanic doesn't... Okay, this mechanic is just for show. <laughs> Unless... Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh, this is interesting. So if I land on the ceiling, or a... Hmm... Okay! Oh! Well, I, I did it. <laughs> I really like this gimmick. I feel like I solved both those puzzles on accident, though. <laughs> I gotta say, I think my favorite mechanic so far is the water stage, though. How am I supposed to do this? Because that's solid. I think maybe I did it wrong. Also, when you're, like, surrounded by the white stuff, I notice that the music feels very muffled, which is kind of cool. I think I'm getting a better hang of this, though. Ooh, okay, now there's actual threats, or actual, like... Oh, that's not what I want to happen. I want to, like... Oh! Ah, right, okay. Okay, right, right, right. Then I want to land in here. I have to be on the inside. That works. Okay. So if I do this, slide down, and the- oh, okay. I think I know what I gotta do there, though. If I jump into that wall, yeah, okay. So jump into it now. Ah, oh, come on. Too late. Just walk through. Now jump into it. That did not feel intentional, but I'll take it. Can I walk under this? Just barely. There we go, that's what I was trying to do beforehand. Oh, come on. I think I was on to something there. I, I guess, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> it's really easy for like, really small movements to screw you over in this map. I kind of like it, though. I don't know. Like, the levels aren't super strong that even when I am getting a little frustrated, it's not really that frustrating. It's more like you just have to keep little things in mind, you know? Like, walk through here and jump up. Okay, I had to get off the wall there.
You know, okay, I think I have a... I see my problem here. There we go. Yeah, don't jump off the wall, just just land off of it. This jumping just complicates things. Okay. So jump on the wall. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, I can fall too low there, too. Okay, that works. Nice. Okay, that one tripped me up a lot, but I finally did it. What do I do here? That's gonna make that inaccessible. I can jump right here. There we go. Okay, there's a way I can get inside of the block. There we go. But thanks, game. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god. <laughs> I messed up. Unless I can... Oh! There we go. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that.
Oh! That didn't feel intentional, but I'll take it. <laughs> Where's the door on this one? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, right. You can't really jump off of that after a certain point. Yeah, I don't think... I think, like, you jump the same height no matter, like, how, how, how um, long you hold the button down. So I can't jump in there. Anything else I can do? Oh, hold on. All right. Um. Maybe there is a way to jump in there. Maybe I can, like, get my jump by, um... Oh! You can do something like that. Oh, okay, okay. I think I might be on this. That, that's really technical, but it feels like something this game would want to try at least once, so... <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, that worked. Um, alright. Okay, so now we're out here. Oh, wait! Oh, that's really close to the white, or to the black spikes. Which means I probably don't want to wall jump off of that. I probably want to land on the edge here. Something like that, but, you know, more graceful. That worked. Okay, now the game really doesn't want me to wall jump at all, or jump at all. I do want, like, the frame I land on and I can do that, but... Ugh, ugh, oh! Ah! Okay. I think I know what the game wants me to do here. just do a bunch of little jumps, I can, like, force my way through this. I get the gimmick of this area, though, but I, I want to see if I can choose this. <laughs> I feel like it'll take roughly about as much time as if I were to take my time. <laughs> You know, now that I think about it, that's probably safer. Um... Oh! Oh, and there's no spikes on that one. Okay, that's easy. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, I can... Actually, where is the door on this one? Maybe it's up here? Oh yeah, there it is. I feel like I just took a big, um... Can I, like... No. Okay. Oh, what about if I... Ah! Yeah, there we go. There's the end. Okay. Ugh. Hmm. Does this game autosave? Save and quit. Yeah, it does. Okay. I think I'll leave it off here, and then next time we'll uh, continue on with this area. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.